Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Um, everything going on in the world today uh, without really knowing what's in the future. It's been really interesting just kind of living in the moment, but also planning for what might be. So I've been stocking up a lot and I just want to show you some of the things that I've been working on and getting just to kind of preserve food because I've noticed that this koji is going crazy. I've noticed that a lot of people are just going and buying frozen stuff and buying canned stuff and I completely get that. It makes sense, but there's so much fresh food that's going to start going to waste and markets in general, like in America, but they're just always so overpacked with food anyway, so much goes to waste. And I think people go to the markets down, there's like so many things that are just completely out, but you know, more traditionally with markets, it's like they just have what they have. So I think if you're gonna be trying to go buy a lot of stuff, what I would suggest is buy fresh stuff and since you're home and you have time, process it and do things with it and preserve it. So I'll show you a couple things I'm doing. I did get some, I did get a couple frozen things and of course dried things, like there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, definitely dried rice and beans and stuff. But if you can buy fresh stuff and find ways to preserve it, I actually have a vacuum sealer I'll show you here. I Yesterday I got a bunch of veggies and fruits. Vacuum sealer, beans, carrots, these will last for months and months and months. Brussels sprouts, all kinds of stuff. If you don't have vacuum seals or other ways to vacuum seal stuff through your water, um, I made some stock here. It's actually there's the, the cabbage, so it looks like really dark, but this is a veggie stock. I made a bunch of sauerkraut as well. Um, if you never made sauerkraut, it's one of the easiest things to do. You literally just take a ton of cabbage and add a bunch of salt and put it in a vessel and make sure the water's covered. I'm not gonna get super into it, but it's really easy to make and it's delicious and it's fermented. So the more you can ferment stuff, the better. Um, let's see what we got here. So we still have plenty of fresh stuff that we'll eat throughout the week and if I start to see something go bad, I can either cook it or process it down or vacuum seal it. Sweet potatoes, um, I have some sticky rice I made, uh, you know, olives, I definitely bought some different things. I have a ton of eggs, some smoked fish, some more sauerkraut, um, this is actually uh, coconut whey, which I'll probably ferment some vegetables in. I made a oat milk back there. I've got some pickled daikon and carrot. Um, I've got some pickles back there made. What else have we got? What else have we got? I've got some kombucha going. And I'm making a konji right now, which if you don't know what it is, it's basically just taking rice and cooking it almost into like a porridge. Um, really filling and you can add like different toppings and you can put on veggies and chicken and um, You know make sauce and it's just like a really kind of hearty thing to feed a lot of people really easy to make I got some chickpeas soaking. I'm actually gonna sprout these chickpeas Because then I can have fresh stuff So if you're starting to if let's say in a few weeks you haven't been able to go to the market if you have dried beans You can sprout them by basically soaking them and then there's a process that you can look up online again Not getting into the process, but you can sprout these and then you have you know fresh food I have these scallions which are in water, so over time they're going to actually grow. So anything that you can keep growing is great. I even, um, this over here. I put this, I'm just kind of experimenting around, but I put the bottom of the celery um, in there, and that should grow roots and actually grow up some celery. Hey there for you. And let's go check out my pantry section. Look, I'm actually watching uh, Sourdough You. This is Mike Greenfield. Ever heard of him? This guy, <laughs> he gave, gifted me that for my birthday, but I've been doing, I have a sourdough starter in the fridge, um, making a lot of sourdough. Um, so of course, lots of potatoes. I've got my beans. Um, I've got some dal, like a mixture. Yep, there it goes. It's gonna sing, huh? This thing's gonna sing for a while. This is the <laughs> the smart dishwasher. All right. do, 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 do. I like jackfruit, yeah, 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 Brian. So I have some jackfruit. Um, this is my favorite, one of my favorite coconut milks. Coconut cream, actually, um, because it's just a little, let's see here. Let's see if it'll see it on here. Yeah, look, just coconut and water. Um, so this stuff's really good, and I would say instead of getting milk at the cream, because you can always thin it out and make milk out of it. Uh, what else? We've got some different soy sauces, brown rice, sticky rice, um, basmati rice, some rice noodles. Sushi paper, um, all kinds of stuff. Get some chocolate, of course. That's over here. Basically, like, just this is a lot of the stuff's gonna last so long. So even if things are okay in a couple of weeks, like I just stocked up and I know that I can have this for the rest of the year. Baking stuff. I have a bunch of flour. Um, rolled oats are great. You can make pancakes out of oats. Um, yeah, pastas, different things like that. Um, oh, also. 
my favorite condiment. This is just distilled vinegar with Thai chilies. You can use any chili, but over time it just gets so good. And it's a good replacement instead of sriracha, which has a lot of stuff in it. This is just two things and it's like fermented and spicy. Um, I'm also making, and here, uh, yogurt. So I'm making a soy Greek yogurt right now. So I've just been doing a lot of fermentation projects. Like I said, I have kombucha. I just finished up my miso. I finished making it, it took me a year and a half. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that right now, but um, if you have time at home and you know you bought a bunch of stuff, like yeah, you can just go and, and wipe out all the, I mean, most of the frozen stuff is gone. Canned stuff is gone at this point, but buy the fresh stuff, process it yourself. You can cook big batches of stuff and freeze things and take the time to just kind of connect to the food and uh, you might be surprised to see what happens because you have this time right now to kind of go inward um, and, and think about things and not just check out and just obsess about the news. I mean, be informed, be smart, but um, take care of yourself, you know, and, and make sure people around you um, feed, eat well, try to relax, go outside, whatever you gotta do. Uh, just, a, just a tip. Um, but yeah, stay safe out there. A lot more to come. I hope you're well. Um, we'll talk soon.